three ten. Okay, three ten. All right. Oh, I'm so nervous. Huh? Uh, me, me also actually. Hmm. Cause this is the first time doing this, and uh, you know, can, there's no script. Can you see me on the camera? Yeah, yeah, I can you see can you. S- you can see me, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, good enough. Maybe I think you should need to sit a bit closer. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Assalamualaikum, everyone. <laughs> Waalaikumsalam. <laughs> that's that's actually very good. Uh, okay. Um, um, hi guys. Um, welcome back to the another episode of Bubble Junction. Uh, we're gonna have a slightly different format from now on. So it's just gonna be me hosting and also my guest, who happens to be today, Mr. Brandon. Chio, all right. <laughs> correct, correct. Yes. <laughs> so, um, to be honest, this is a practice run for me mm-hmm. uh, because yeah. um, just just uh, flying solo. Uh, so please do forgive me for any shortcomings. And uh, for all you viewers, I have to apologize because this episode's um, uh, video would not be aired. Uh, at the same time as the Spotify because we don't have the right tools to do the editing. So it's going to be on Spotify first. Once we get the right equipment, then uh, we're going to post post it on YouTube. So, okay. Um, Brandon, uh, just for the listeners and viewers, can you please introduce yourself? Uh, hello, everyone. My name is uh, Brandon. I'm from Bok Dixon. Currently, I'm working as a project engineer in KL, and I train in Zilfit, and I love powerlifting. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> why do you love powerlifting, Brandon? Cause how, how did you, how did you get into powerlifting? I did. I get into powerlifting when I was, uh, I think, when I was pursuing my PhD in uh, University of Nottingham. Uh, actually, I was doing bodybuilding, but then I feel something is lacking. Like there is no. For me, there's no goal, you mm. know. Powerlifting is a very, uh, what's the word? Objectivity sport, mm. where there's a nu- there, there are numbers right. for you to hit, for you to achieve, and then you progress from there. Whereas bodybuilding is more on, more on visual thing, you right. know. If the judge like you, you're gonna win the contest. If the judge yeah. doesn't like you, most probably you're gonna lose it. But is it because you didn't get the physique that you wanted? <laughs> true, 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 true. Because <laughs> I don't diet. I don't diet. I don't diet. <laughs> I don't diet. Because uh, the the reason why I say that is uh, there's a guy called Mike Menzer. Mm. All right, he is the. I think he's the he's a famous trainee, uh, that 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 use uh high intensity training method from, from bodybuilding. Yeah, from bodybuilding from Arthur Jones mm. from Arthur Jones. He is actually the first Mr. Olympia that ever get the full 300 mark from the pre-judging. But then he lost the contest to Arnold. Oh, yeah? okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, you see, pre-judging, you get full oh. mark, but then you lost it during the right. actual com. So, oh. oh, so you think that, okay, so, well, that's like a separate topic in itself. Yeah, so he's, like, he's, he's uncrowned Mr. Olympia. He's oh. uncrowned Mr. Olympia. And then after that, that. Yeah. then he retired from the sport. Then when I, when I read about it, I'm like, you want to win the contest, you better make sure everyone likes you, you know. Right, but, but were you into, uh, sorry, bodybuilding uh, to get into contest or were you just doing it leisurely? Uh, I was doing it leisurely, but, mm. but then when I, when, I, when I see them, I was like, you know, there's no, why, 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 why is this happening in this sport? Do you really need to win a contest? Yeah. Like, you no, know, by getting all the people to like you. Mm-hmm. But I think it, it shouldn't be, you know, if you want, you want to win a contest, you should demonstrate what you can do under the bar or right. what you can do on the stage right right you know he his his muscles are like well proportioned well defined but then mm. yet he lost to mr arnold right so 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 because of that you jumped into powerlifting yeah i, I start to read i start to read and then uh during that period of time actually my 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 studies uh, were not going very well you know mm. uh, so i i keep on reading then i stumbled upon elite fts Oh okay, yeah. Then mm. I read about powerlifting. Then I read about Jim Wendler. I read about Dave Tate. Then how that's mm. how I got into 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 powerlifting. Mm. Yeah. When when was this? Uh, I think this was in. Uh, I think this is like three years ago. That's pretty recent. I always thought that you've been into powerlifting for longer than that. I think three three years ago. Yeah, I think I think I was I was still in my university. Yeah, yeah, three years uh-huh. ago. Three years ago. Three years, I think three, three or four years ago, three or four years ago, Right. So, so how did you like? Um, how did you start your training? 
I mean, I I know that in bodybuilding you have the three big movement, big lifts for for powerlifting. Yeah. But training wise, it should be vastly different from bodybuilding Correct. because it's very specific. Mm-hmm. So how did you make that transition? For me, um, during bodybuilding, I think it's just the splitting of the body parts. You know, I just uh, follow wha- whatever is mentioned by the book by the Mike Menzer. Mm. Uh, high intensity, the Mike Menzer way. I got the book and signed by the author as well. God damn, John Little. Yeah, can, yeah. can you bring it here? I yeah, wanna, he's wanna the wanna borrow. Uh, <laughs> can he's the okay? I I followed the book. Uh, and then I think the for bodybuilding is just you know getting the pump lightweight. You know, there's no it's, it's not like powerlifting. Powerlifting there's a, there are numbers percentage mm-hmm. based on your training max or your one rep max. Mm-hmm. So my transition from there I think is quite. Uh, I think inst- instead of uh, splitting into body parts, it just for powerlifting, I just train full body. Right. Full body. So you 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 didn't follow anybody's uh, programming or anything like that. It's just going into the sport and just lifting every uh, squat, bench, deadlift every single day. Uh, every day. Mm, I would do one one compound movement per day, but then my assistant would consist about uh, a push exercise, a pull exercise, and also a uh, single leg or core. Mm. As is, there's in for example, a uh, push exercise cons- maybe consists of uh, dumbbell press, incline press, mm. and and so on. I mean, they are under the push category. Mm-hmm. Pull, I will do some dumbbell row, mm-hmm. okay, dumbbell row or lats pull down. So those are in the category of uh, pull category. Right. Mm. For single leg, I will do some RDL, okay, Romanian Romanian deadlift mm-hmm. or Good Morning mm-hmm. or. Uh, Hanging uh, leg raise, mm-hmm. so those are under single leg core right. c- category. Yeah, so, so one exercise from each category. So this is just based on self research, and um, and you just went with it. it yeah, it this is what I what I what I read uh, from 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 the from from the web website from mm. the training articles in uh, Elite FTS, and then I just I just I just follow it. Okay, so so like um, when when you got into the the. Let's say, quote unquote, the programming. Uh, mm-hmm. What sort of goal did you have at the beginning? Did you know, when you, because you're in bodybuilding, you're after the physique, yep. right? In powerlifting, you're 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 um, uh, targeting targeting um, uh, a number, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, yeah. So, how did you know what number were you trying to get to at the very beginning? This is something that I I I don't know. Mm-hmm, you know how mm-hmm. people do it. Mm-hmm. How did you do it? Do you know what I mean? I don't understand. I understand. Yeah, it's it, okay. Maybe maybe you can rephrase it a bit. The first time you got into powerlifting, mm-hmm. did you have a a similar twelve week program like bodybuilding, or is just you you were just just training just based on what you've read? I just train based on what I read. I I okay. during that time I do not have uh, any uh, specific goal. I just need something to take away my focus. On my studies <laughs> during that time, because yeah. my, my my studies were were were, were going okay, not going okay. very well. Yeah, All so right. I just need to do something to keep me. You get to release the tension, like just to keep me mentally stable and mentally. Yeah. I mean, uh, me- just keep my mental in a healthy manner. Yeah, yeah you know, yeah, instead okay. of thinking about my studies, you know, spending time inside the room thinking about this, thinking about that, might as well go and lift some weight, have a goal on that day during lifting the weight. Ah, okay. Once I done that, okay, at least I get one thing done today. Then right. I get back to office. Okay, so that so how long did it take for you to realize that in powerlifting that you probably need a proper programming in, in order to, for you to achieve the overarching goal mm-hmm. of your lifts, right? Mm-hmm. So when did that happen? Uh, that is uh, when I was injured. Injured? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> when 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 uh, I pulled something on my back, but uh, luckily it's not 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 nothing serious. Okay. I pulled something on my back. Okay, okay, something is wrong here. Right. Something is wrong here. I didn't. During that time, I don't. I mean, I can't do that lift at all because I, oh. I put something on my back. I can't even put on my own pants. Mm. <laughs> oh, okay. I can't even put my right. own pants. I have a hard time putting on my own pants, so I only can do a uh, press, bench press. I think squat also. And on the day where I'm not training, you know, just recovery. I just, uh, I just read, you know, I just read. You know, I want to. I don't want to see what's wrong. What's wrong? How can I? You know, why? Why? Why I get injured? Yeah. How long were you injured? I think uh, I think almost one and a half month. 
Then you didn't go see any doctors or physio. I or went. I went. I went to see my senior, who is uh, practicing a uh, Chinese medicine. Mm. He, he helped me to fix it. Uh. Okay. Thanks to him, he helps helps me to fix it. He just say, uh, it's a it's a muscle pull something mm-hmm. like that. So mm-hmm. I just need to rest, recover. Right. So during that period of time, I I start to read. Mm. You know, mm. I start to read like okay. Now I know okay. For powerlifting, you can't just you can't just do it blindly though. Know? Yep. Okay, you need uh first of all you need technique first. Right. Okay? Technique comes first. Once you get that fixed, okay, then we talk about programming. Right. Okay, and then your program will need to have uh balance. Okay, you before you go to the programming, mm-hmm. how did you fix your technique? Who fixed your technique? Basically again, also through through reading. Mm. Okay, through reading and then I I I basically I just uh read and then I just uh practice it inside the gym mm. with lightweight to see how I feel. Then after that, I move on from there. Okay, and then yeah, yeah. Uh, the programming, how did it come about? Uh, programming wise, uh, I was also getting the the pro- 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 the program uh, from uh, Eli FTS from 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 Jim Wendler. So I read about you know his program is very simple to follow, mm-hmm. very simple to follow. One main one main movement per day, and then he will have a. Progression cycle, know how you should progress, when you should deload. Everything is, is there, everything is there. Mm-hmm. Then I just, I just, I just follow. Then he also mentioned how you should do your conditioning. What is your mindset towards uh, assistant exercise? Why you should do your stretching and also mobility? Everything is mentioned there. So, so I'm like, this is a balanced program. You know, you are not only chasing strength, mm-hmm. but you need to forego your conditioning health. Mm-hmm. You need to forego your mobility. Everything is there, so I just I just do, and then it's simple enough to follow, you know, simple okay. enough to follow. Uh, is it is this the same program that you're on right now? Or yes. Yeah. So you've you've been doing for how long? Uh, programming wise, from 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 gym, I've been doing uh, I think, I think four years already. Four years already. The template is different. Uh. Template is very different, but the training principles are the same. Okay, okay. For example, I can foresee I might I have I'm going to have a very busy month. Yeah. Then I I just change my template. You know, okay. instead of doing, <laughs> ten sets inside the gym, maybe I I reduce it to 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 five sets. Okay. Based on the template given, right. but the training principle is still the same. Okay. This and this is not a paid programming. Like it's just something that the he wrote um, probably on his website, and then you just in his book actually. In his book. Yes. Okay. I bought his book. Then I read it. Then say okay, these are all the template. Based on the life mm. you are having outside the gym, right? What is your what is your goal? Okay. What are you trying to improve? So right. these are the templates, but all these templates are based on the five principles that 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 he already laid down. Okay. The w- what's the five principles again? Because I was uh, I probably missed that. Uh, the five principles in uh, five three one. The first will be uh, start light. Don't start too heavy. Okay. okay. Start light. Okay. Start light. Mm-hmm. Okay. Second will be progress slowly. Okay. Progress slowly. The third will be set a PR. Mm-hmm. Now, set a PR doesn't mean not 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 only mean um, heavy weight. Okay, can be can be the bar speed, mm-hmm. can be the form, can be the effort. So, you make your own goal. Okay, then you justify. What do you mean by PR? That's mm-hmm. for you. Mm-hmm. And the fourth one will be uh, compound movement. So, in five three one, they focus on SBD and also the overhead press. Okay. Okay. Over overhead press, and then the fifth will be like balance. Balance is about like, like what what I mentioned to you just now. So his program will cover strength, will cover mobility. Okay. Will cover conditioning. Three things must be in the program. All right. Is is this a specific powerlifting uh, programming? Because for do you really need mobility or and en- is it was it endurance? Uh, conditioning, conditioning. I'll say conditioning. Do you, need, do you need conditioning for a powerlifting athlete? I think yes. For you to recover f- better. Or is it for recovery? Yes, for recovery. You need conditioning for recovery. You don't want to get so strong, but you can't climb up the stairs. Mm. You don't want to get so strong, but you can't walk for five minutes without you know without puffing you know. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You you, you don't want that. You don't want that. Okay. okay. So yeah. how how has the programming worked for you over the last few years? I think it works pretty well. It's just that during the earlier stage, I think I self sabotage. Mm. Self self sabotage as in. I increase my training max too much. Okay. You know when I should have reduced it because, uh, when I reduce it, I'm like, 
okay, the weight that I'm training for my next cycle will be less than my previous. So I feel, hmm. I feel weak. Right. I feel shame. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> you know, I feel shame. Okay. Then I then I increase it. Okay. Then I fail. I fail. I injured. That's how I encounter the term self sabotage. Mm. I do not follow the program. Mm. I overestimate. So they actually uh-huh. say that say that you from from one cycle to another cycle. Yeah. You're supposed to reduce your starting weight. If there there's a period called uh, there's a there's a week called the training max. Okay. Testing. Uh-huh. Where you need to test out your training max, then you can decide. What are the training max for your next cycle? Oh. If you fail, let's okay. say for example, if you fail to hit three to five reps on your training max for this particular cycle, uh-huh. then you need to reduce your weight. You need to reduce your training max okay. for your next cycle. Build up your strength from there. Build up your base. Right. So so okay. Does that mean? Uh, I I'm just throwing some questions yeah, to yeah, you. Yeah. Uh, does that mean that the first cycle that you you gone through, mm-hmm. you've made probably some mistakes because you did you didn't progress to the Training max that you were supposed to hit for that cycle. Pardon again, again. Okay, you said that uh-huh. there's a period where you have to do a training max, uh-huh. right? Uh-huh. Which determines the next cycle. Correct. Uh, the the weight in the next cycle, right? Yeah, yeah. So if you missed the training max, uh-huh. do you think that it's be- the program wasn't working throughout the first cycle, or what went wrong that you didn't hit? The target max. Do you know what I mean? No? I know. I get you. I get yeah. you. The my, my my answer for that is, uh, I increase my training max too much and too soon. Okay. For example, uh, it's mentioned in the in the in the program that I need to hit at least three to five reps. But I hit three, even though I hit three reps, which is the minimum required reps. But on the last rep, the third rep, I was struggling or mm. so called grinding, mm. and the bar speed was too slow. Okay. So I think. That already indicates that you know I need to recalculate my training max or lower. That's okay, this is this is a part where I uh, actually don't understand because uh, every single program, uh, as far as I understand it, you have a goal at at the end. You have the end goal. Yes, correct. Correct. Okay, I, I need to hit 100 kg deadlift. I know I'm weak, but you know, let's say okay. say for example, right? So how do you determine at the beginning of your first first cycle? Uh huh. How much you need to start with? Because it's I'm I'm thinking that you overestimated the your end target mm, mm, the first time around. You know what I mean or not? I, I get it. I get it. Yeah. So how 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 do you determine uh, from the previous training max test? So for yeah, yeah, if you are if you have if you have done the the first uh, training max test, mm-hmm. yeah, you have a historical record of yeah. what you you can do, what you can yeah. lift. Yeah. But when you're starting out the five three one program, uh-huh. you don't you didn't have any data. So how do you determine what is your uh, the oh. weight that you should lift during throughout for, the for the for the first cycle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Ah, okay. Uh, you need to test out your one rep max inside the gym. Just f- the first session, pop. Just try one rep yes, max. Yes, yeah, one rep max. Ah, okay, okay. Then from there, then the, there's a formula for you to calculate what is your, uh, what is your one one rep max for that. Okay. Okay. Then from uh, uh, okay. Okay. Then from there, you can determine what is your training max. Training max will in 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 five three one, usually will be eighty five percent or ninety percent of your true one rep max. Oh, because your training max is uh m- multiple reps. It's not one rep mm-hmm. max. Nope. Nope. Oh, okay. Training max and one rep max is different uh, thing. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's a different thing. So to answer your question, prior to uh, starting your your your, your five three one program, mm-hmm. uh, you need to determine your one rack max. Mm-hmm. After that, you need to determine your training max. Okay, and there is where your five three one pro uh, training will start from there. Okay, yeah. So from from how many cycles are you on now? Can you remember? Uh, I couldn't remember because I did so many different template. <laughs> I did so many different template. I did so many different templates. So, when you say template, what does it mean? It's still five three two, but a five three one, but it's different um, types of accessories or what? What is it? Uh, what what just, do you mean by template? Template as in uh, just just different different way of uh, appro- um, different way of doing the supplemental. You know, okay. Just to share with you, for example, uh, in the five three one, mm-hmm. 
in the 531 there's a template called uh, FSL. Okay. FSL means first first set last. Okay. That means you repeat your first last your your, your first set mm. for multiple sets and multiple reps. Okay. For example, five sets of five, you know. Then there's another another template called the BBS. Okay. Boring but strong. Okay. So you need to do your first set for 10 sets of five. All right. So it's just it's just the way of uh, arranging your main lift. Mm-hmm. A different way of arranging your supplemental. The volume will change. Okay. The volume will change, and also the exercise that you do on the day itself also will change. Okay. Yeah. So, but again, it just based on uh, how how much training time you have. Okay. So, can I say that? Okay. I I, I don't mean I don't mean this negatively. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. When you use this different template. Aren't you actually sabotaging your end goal? Nope. No. Why? Because the training principles are still there. Okay. I start light. I progress slowly. I set my PR. Okay. I use compound movement, and I also have balance in my program. Okay. So template is just, it just within these five principles. How I make my program. Okay. That's it. Can be many. Can be different template. You okay. know. Okay. But. But the the end goal should be the same, same if you follow these five principles. Yes. Yes. Okay. Training the template can be different, but as long as those five principles are there, I'm fine. Okay. Now my 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 next question will be this: since the, since you start started the mm. the the template okay. the first time around and up until now, how has your progress been? For my for my for my deadlift, I think I have been progressing uh quite 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 okay. Mm-hmm. Quite okay. Can can you share the numbers or is that uh, uh, too private? I hit, I think one five, one hundred and fifty three kilo. Okay. For, for for three reps. Oh, last okay. time last mm. time I couldn't get one forty even from the floor. Okay. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay, and then my overhead press, uh, after fixing from Harris, I get I think sixty nine for one rep. Sixty nine. Sixty nine. Okay. Sixty nine for bench. For bench, I am able to get. This is strict overhead, right? Yes, strict overhead press. Okay, and then for my bench, I from eighty five that I was, from eighty five I was hitting only three reps. Now I can get it five for five reps. Okay, easily, and recently I got, I think, three reps at night for 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 ninety kg, for bench. For bench. Okay. For bench. Uh, for squat. Uh, recently I just get one hundred and. One hundred and twenty-three kilo, I think. Wait, squat or bench? Squat, 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 yeah. squat mm. for 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 one rep. Yeah, so I think the progress is there. The progress is there, but it just it's just a bit slow, you know, compared to other program mm, because mm. his program means that you need to progress slowly. Right. Don't straight away. Okay. What? What? Why is that? Is the intention not to compete, like specifically not to compete when you follow this program? The program allows you to compete. It's just that when it comes to training, you train, you don't test. Inside the gym, mm-hmm. you train inside the gym. You build your base. Right. If you want to test, if you want to t- test it out, you test it on the platform. Right. But in the five three one program, uh, he also allows you to to test also. He mm-hmm. called it the Joker set, mm-hmm. where you just, uh, for example, for this week, I should do. I, I'm the top set will be ninety five percent of my training max. If I feel good, I can increase five to ten percent. Then I just hit one rep. Or or two rep just to test the max, you know, so called. It it it's, it appears it seems to me. Uh, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. Mm-hmm. That his programming is more for. I mean, it's powerlifting. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but yeah. it's not for people who want to be competitive, because the underlying principle is for you to do it slowly and do it safely. Am I correct in my assessment? You can use five three one program to compete also. And you can do it safely and also with balance. Right. For there's a there's one 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 of his uh, gym's friend is called Vincent. Mm-hmm. Okay, Vincent is an I think Vin, I don't know how to pronounce the last name, so mm. just call him Vincent. <laughs> Let's call him Vincent. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> he by the way he overhead press I think four o five for one rep pounds. Uh, yeah, pounds, pounds. Yeah. Oh, that's two hundred kg. Huh? Almost, um, almost lah. I mean, that's more than that. More than that. Yeah. More than that. Oh, no, about, less than that, lah, brother. Four o five, yeah. Four o five. What happened to your PhD? Four o five, my my PhD is gone already. 
four or five. Yeah, he just he, kidding. He he four or five, and he used, I think he used his five three one program uh for his uh, bench competition. Mm. I think I think he won that. He won that. So I think five three one program, you can use it for competition and also for training as well. Right. Okay. Maybe I let let me phrase it uh differently. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. Are you open to using other programs? Mm-hmm. And if no, why? I am open to use another program. I don't mind because I, I also uh, read some other pro- about other programs as well, like Cube Method, mm. Juggernaut Training, mm. and also uh, Fifth Set. Uh, for now, I mean, I'm open to try out another another program, but mm-hmm. but for now, I think I'm still in my current. Five three one cycle, so I want to finish it. Right, right. I, I, right. I, I want to finish it. I, I'm, I'm, I'm open for 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 other program as well. But it's just that, um, I really enjoy doing the five, the the, five the, 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 the five, five three one program, and then I think, I think I also have some sort of uh, emotional attachment to the program. Yeah, yeah. Because when I when I read about before I read about uh, the five three one, I read about Jim Wendler's work mm-hmm. on his. Uh, So called personal block, mm-hmm. how he approach training, okay, okay. how he approach uh, basically life. Mm-hmm. Then I'm I'm just like wow, I'm I'm just impressed with his uh, with his attitude, you know, towards 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 the life. So I mean, I make him my role model. Okay, I make him as my role model. Right. So that's why I I have been doing his program like for so long. I yeah. never I never deviate. Yeah. I never deviate. It's just that. Uh, Sometimes I self sabotage, you know, as I mentioned. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, I'm open for another program, but for now, I want to, I want to finish what I started. Okay. Um. Let's just end it at that for now. We're gonna take a break and we'll come back right after this. Okay. All right. Yeah, sure. Oh. Okay. All right, we're back uh, with uh, Brandon. Um, so okay, wh- where we left off was um, your the five three one training method, yep. and uh, I think uh, b- b- um, I knowing you over the last uh, seven months, I can see that uh, you're very dedicated and very disciplined. I think I'm I'm, I'm sure all the powerlifters that come through um, Zulfit would um, would attest to that. But I see. You being very different from the rest in terms of your discipline, and just before we move on to the next topic, I just want to clarify mm, okay. something with you. Is that do you think that you are sticking with this program? Because you say you have a affinity for this five three one program, uh-huh. your emotional attachment. Is it because you don't compete? Because the you are not as intense in terms of the weight. As people like uh, probably um, the rest of the guys that come come uh-huh. here, right? Because uh-huh. they're always hitting their, at least from my point of view, hitting like mac- almost near maximal weights mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. things like that. Is is it because of that? Is it, why do you have such an emotional attachment to this program for so long, right? I do not have. I think um, yes, I have the emotional attachment to the program, but I would say I have. Emotional attachment to the. I know this sounds dramatic. Okay, I mm-hmm. I think I have I have personal. I think I have the emotional attachment to the man behind yeah, the program, okay. mm. which is his his uh, his mindset, mm. his attitude towards training, mm. towards life. You know, training can be really simple. Training can be really simple. Mm-hmm. Stop making it so complicated. Okay. So that's why I like it. It's like this is the. This is the basic thing, mm. and this 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 is the basic thing that they get you to the advanced level, right? So, um, have you ever spoken to the guy, uh, like with, whether on email or yes, there's a mm. there's a there's a forum in uh, T Nation okay. where you can post your questions over there, and sometimes he will answer, but he seldom online. He right. he, he also <laughs> have he also have his uh, private forum, right? Yeah, but I think you need to pay membership. Ah, okay. Yeah, so he can answer your 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 question there. He, I think in in the in the in the podcast where he he did with the 
with 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 Elite FTS. Right. Yeah. He spent very less time on social media or even online because he's mm. just busy with his uh, coaching. He's right. a he's a coach for uh, for the football team in right. in I think in London, Ohio, mm. if I'm not mistaken. Have you ever like uh, has it occurred to you that you that you want to get a coach? Mm, nope. That that don't ever come to my mind. Okay. But but I occasionally. Uh, I get Harris to fix my technique. Who is Harris? Oh, <laughs> Faris is the bench king. He Far- yeah, Faris or Harris? Which one? Oh, sorry, Harris, <laughs> Harris, Harris. I, I mess it up. I mess it up. Uh, their their name is, is yeah, it's very similar. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Harris, Harris, yeah. Harris, Harris. Thank you, Harris. The thank bench you. Bench king. Yeah. Right. Thank you for you know. Uh, sorry for st- <laughs> stealing <laughs> your PR. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you want to see the video, I think it's uh, on Faris's uh, Instagram, right? Uh, on Faris' Instagram, uh, so Pro- on probably it's gone already. Uh, <laughs> on Harris' Instagram, I'm yeah. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what about competition, bro? Uh, the, uh, I mean, have you uh, participated in any competition? Yeah, yeah, I I participated in one competition in uh, Penang, organized by. Um, By Jam Jam yeah, Kong, Jam, yeah, I know him. He's a customer of mine. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah Jake. Okay, and uh, yeah, he he organized uh, a money meet in Penang, and I went together with there with uh, Jerry, who mm. is the who is the owner of uh, uh, Breadwinner and uh, Bread, yep. Bread, Breadwinner and and Bad Weathers. Mm-hmm. And I'm really thankful for 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 Jerry. You know, well, why is that? Because. Uh, he was opening a booth over there in in Penang. You mm-hmm. know, during the competition, right? But uh, He did not like so called spend much of his time mm-hmm. at, at the at the booth to to or engage with with prospect customer. Right. Mm-hmm. He just spent his time, you know, handling me. You know, make sure I'm not nervous. Make sure I follow the command. You know, make sure I have confidence when I get under the bar. Mm-hmm. So, I owe Jerry a lot. Th- thanks, Jerry. Thanks, thanks for being there. You know, when I when when I need someone like. Yeah, thanks, Jerry, for the free plugin. Uh. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> like, thanks, Jerry. Like, I, I, I don't know how to express my, my, my. Your gratitude. I, yeah. I'm grateful. No, yeah. I'm grateful to, yeah. to have to have him by my side. You know, when I, you know, it's, it, right. it was my first competition. Mm. Not so saying I'm nervous, but I think I, the numbers that I want to hit, I think is a bit. I think I play too safe. Ah, uh, okay. So did he push you? Yeah, to, he changed oh. my number. Okay. He went to change my number. You know, I I told him my plan. I before we depart to Penang, we we had a breakfast in KL, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Then he asked me, Brendan. So, what weights are you going to hit? Then I told him like, okay, I'm going to hit. Uh, I think hundred on my. I think the top weight mm-hmm. I'm going to hit on my squat will be hundred. And he was eating his pow, you know. Mm-hmm. And then he just mm-hmm. broke it into half. Mm-hmm. And I, what? Hundred for squat? You, you serious? Why you go compete? <laughs> and I was, I was, I was, I was, I was silenced there in a the moment. I'm like, yeah, mm. yeah true, Jerry. True. Mm. I mean, I think what 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 he said was right. I was playing too safe. Yeah. W- But what what could what could you have hit uh, at that time? I think, I think I hit one one five though. I think he's he's the one who changed my number. So I actually, see. before I approached the bar, I have no idea what weight I'm going to hit on the bar. I see. He changed it for me. All all the lifts or just the squat? Uh, I think squat and bench. That lift, that lift, he let me hit 150 because I I told him 150. I I never I never did it before inside the gym or mm. anywhere. Mm. So I think I want to hit it. I want to you know I for the third k- lift, like, I assume. Yeah. Okay. Third lift, the third attempt. I want right. to get it on the platform. Then say okay, go. Okay. So so f- what did you hit for the three lifts uh, at the competition? Uh, squat. If, if I know mistaken, I think it's one one five. Okay. One one five. But I was not grinding now, so he's like ah, it's too light. Mm. But for bench, wait, 115 at the third attempt. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So the first, the first couple of uh, the first two lifts, uh, you didn't feel that you could have done like 120 or 125. No. 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 Is it confidence issue or is it what you still playing safe? Uh, quote unquote. I, th- I think I think I think playing safe. Yeah. I think I think playing okay. safe. Okay. Right. But like, is it because your previous back injury, or what? What? Why? Why did you want to play safe? I think it just. Uh, I don't have any. Uh, I think this inexperience. That, or? Yeah, inexperience. That, that mm. was my first first competition, you know. But right. so when I when I mean, thank goodness Jerry had uh, this session before mm. we we depart to uh, Penang, Penang, you know. Mm. And I just it just it just a funny moment when he just broke his power in front of me. <laughs> <and> <laughs> the the sound of disappointment. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, for for bench, I. 
I hit 85 on my second attempt. Mm. On my third attempt, I think 92.5, you know, mistaken. He, okay. he said my weight. I got cramp. <laughs> oh, on your what? On your uh, calves? Ah, uh, yeah, on, on my calf. Then I, I, I just, I just missed that, lah. Oh, the 95? So you only hit... Ni- 92.5, yeah, 92.5, you know, mistaken. So you hit the 80, 85, 85 on my okay. second attempt. All right. Then 92.5, I think I, I got cramp. Okay, and then the, the, the deadlift? Deadlift, uh, I think first attempt is uh, 130, if I'm not mistaken. Mm-hmm. 130, 140, and then 150. Yeah. So did you... Did you whoa, whoa, excuse me. Okay. Were the lifts um, your PR? For deadlift and, and bench... I would say, actually, actually those are my PR lah. Actually, because mm. I never did that before. Okay. I never did. And when I never did that before, it was my first competition. Right. Especially for bench, you know, mm-hmm. I never pause in my bench. What, uh, you, you didn't pause. What, what does that mean? As in, in my training, I never purposely train pause bench. Oh, is there such a thing? Yes. Oh. Yeah, where, where, where you need to uh, pause the bench. I mean, you need to pause the bar for mm. for a few seconds okay. on mm-hmm. your chest. Mm-hmm. And then you press the bar up. I never practiced that in my, it, in wait, my training. It, it, is that the, the way you do it in competition? Yeah, in competition, the bar would need to be motionless on your body for a few seconds. Oh, until they, they signal you to yes, cue un- you to... Until the judge say press, then you get it up. Uh, yeah, you can't just like touch and then you go as, 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 you, as, as you want. You need to pause it there, make sure it is motionless. Right. Then when the judge give the command, then you go. Right. Yeah. So were you happy with the your your numbers? Yeah, I'm happy with the numbers. Actually, if you're talking about numbers, actually I I don't really care though. Mm. It's just that I enjoy the training. I I, I enjoy the competitions uh, atmosphere over there. You know. Yeah. I made many new friends: Jam, uh, Lillian, Stephanie, hmm. Brian. You Kay. know, you think uh, for a while I thought you just met girls. Uh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I met. Um, Many friends, you know, and they just like, you know, during the period, I mean, uh, the competition, I think what Jerry told me is like, it just, it just like eyes opening, you mm. know, if you want to, in the competition, that is where you go for testing. Mm. You don't bring your gym lift on the platform. Right. All right. You don't bring your gym lift to the platform. On the platform, all in. All in. That is his attitude and I I I I like that. So it's so meaning that you 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 would always want to hit your heaviest in a competition and not during the training. Is that what he's trying to say? Pardon? You're supposed to hit your absolute max in competition, but not in training. In a way, yeah. I would say in in, in competition, you just you know go to your limit. Let me ask you something. Uh, mm-hmm. Since you've I understand the the feeling of uh, stage fright and mm, all that mm. really really well because yeah. I have that problem. Yeah. Right. So, do you think, uh, because of your is, it was your first time and you were nervous that you couldn't hit a higher number? Did you do you think did you do you think that it contributed to your lifts? Yes. Yes, I think uh, stage fright and also and also uh, what I call this uh, nervous. Mm. It it does it does it it does affect. So that's why, you know, Jerry was there. You know, keep mm. on reminding me. You did this before in your gym. You did this for your training. You know, focus, listen to command, and go. Right, right. Yeah. So have you had any other competitions after that? Uh no, no, no. Uh, but mm. I think I'm going for another one in 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 Penang also. I think by 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 Jake by by Jam. Mm. So just oh, when is that? I have no idea. I think I think hopefully he he'll make another one. Okay. Mama Nimin. So I hopefully I can go together with uh, you know with Jerry, Moose, mm. Iqbal, Carmen. They all go to go there. Ah. Just have a good time, compete. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, enjoy yeah. the good food in Penang. Yeah. Yeah, Penang has the best food in well. Oh, food in oh, that's yeah, heaven the for food, food yeah. man. Yeah, it, it just you know touching in heaven. <laughs> 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 close lah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, close enough. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, uh, Brandon. I think um, let's end it here. Uh, I thank you for being on uh, the podcast. And do you have any last words that you want to say to our viewers? Uh, where they, where can they find you, or where can they reach you if you know they want to ask about the five three one program or things like that? Uh, my my Instagram account is uh, Brandon CKW CKW, and uh, I usually 
do my training in Zilfit. So where, where again? Can you just repeat that again? Where do you train? <laughs> <laughs> Zilfit, Zilfit in Shalam. Yeah, okay, if if you can just share, why do you train at Zilfit again? Because I need to. Ah, huh? oh, okay. Training, training is not something that I want to. Yeah. It's something I need to. You say something special with Zilfit, like you know, I don't know. I would say the culture. Culture, ah. You know, everyone is. Uh, even though everyone is doing a, a, a different program, they might have uh, different attitudes. You know, under the bar or towards the program, towards the training. But what I can see in Zilfit, we always support each other. Yeah. When I see yeah. you struggling under the bar, mm. when I see you have uh, doubts, right. you know, yeah. under the bar, you know. And don't don't worry. We 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 will spot you. Yeah. No, we're gonna stand behind you. We're gonna stand yeah. beside you. And we're gonna ruin your PR as well. Oh no <laughs> no no! <laughs> that was an, that was an accident <laughs> because the bar was tilting to my face and like I'm <laughs> I am I'm already not handsome, you know. Yeah. So <laughs> I don't want the bar to crush my face. Yeah. And then uh yeah I mean like that was hilarious. Uh, yo, yeah yeah. <laughs> uh, that then yeah so that is the that is the uh that's what I like about the culture. Yeah. Oh, the training atmosphere in, in inside inside the gym, you know, you just let your doubt go aside. You know, we will support you. We'll make sure you are safe. You can feel with confidence. You can mm-hmm. feel with confidence. Yep, yep. To complete your lift, you only need about twenty seconds. So just, you know, get your mind straight for those twenty seconds. That's it. You are done. Yep. You are done. Even if you fail. Don't worry, we'll yeah, be here. Move on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. move on. I mean, we will not let you die. You know? yeah. <laughs> we will not please. let you. D- no, no, please, no, no talk of dying. Uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. In this gym. I mean, uh, yeah, you you are going to fail, but fail with confidence. Yeah. Fail yeah. with confidence. But that's Don't, life. Yeah, right. we, we are here. We are here. We yeah. are here. We are. That's that's why I like about Zilfit. So that's why, uh, you know, they can come here to train in Zilfit. Yeah. And uh, yeah, Harris is also around, you know. Ooh, uh, Harris, yeah. I'm, s- uh, yeah. So sorry for you listeners for that that uh, shameless plug-in, <laughs> but thank you, Brandon, again for being on the show, and uh, we'll see you in the next episode. All right, thanks All for right, having me. Bye. Bye. Thanks.